Hi everyone, Mary Nimberson here and I am back. I didn't really go far. <laughs> I was meant to make another video. I'm covered in alcohol ink because I've been having fun playing, making all these backgrounds, um, which hopefully you'll have seen on a previous video. And um, th these are the alcohol inks from Let's Resin that they sent me. Okay, I didn't buy these. I, I have to say I probably purchase about 90 odd percent of everything that I use, I purchase myself. Um, and every now and again, I am lucky and I get sent some things and that's what Let's Resin did. They wanted me to play with their alcohol inks. And I've had fun. I really have. Um, but I'm going to have a little bit more fun because I remember, and I'm just plagiarising here, but I remember a lady from Ranger, she just, she'd done this thing with alcohol inks, obviously Ranger alcohol inks, um, and it was beautiful. So I'm going to try and replicate that. Now, they also sent me this thing called alcohol ink sinker white. Now, I don't think this is like a normal white alcohol ink because it's, I think it's specially formulated where when you're using it in resin, so like in jewellery, you put it in and then it literally just sort of like, I don't know. There's a guy called Daniel Cooper on YouTube. Go watch him. He is amazing. He's blown me away. He really has. Um, but anyway, I'm using it in a different way. So what I'm going to do, I've got my little puffer. I've got some black cardstock. This is the Sinker White um, in a little bottle. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to recreate, just throw some on there and just start puffing. And a bit more. Puff, puff, puff. I want to spread it out. And I don't know whether I should do this followed by alcohol ink colour or do this um, this way. Do you know what? There, there's only one way to find things out in life, isn't there? You just give it a go. So what I'm trying to do is get like a flower sort of shape coming out. Look at that. Just puff. You can use a straw if you haven't got a puffy thing like this you can just use a straw it's not a pro see even that just looks beautiful oh i love it when it's oh i would say do it in a ventilated room because alcohol inks can smell and some people can be a little bit blur by them but right okay that i just love oh look there's a little fly go away Go away, because you're going to get covered in alcohol ink. That's it. Go on, up we go. Um, so, I feel like that just needs to be like that. But, I'm going to go... I'm going to use the same colours I used before. I should get more out. I'm going to pop a little bit of magenta there and splay it out. And a little bit there. So because you've got the white under, and that's fairly opaque, if I was to do this just on a piece of plain black, if I flip this over, look, you're not going to see the colour. But because we've put white under, oh, look, it come through. <laughs> I'll put my sentiment there. <laughs> but because I've put white there, it's, there we go, that's better. It's, um, what do you call it? Oh, look, little fly. Come on, mate. He's probably being attracted by the, the smell. Right, let's bring a lighter pink in. Isn't that lovely? A little bit in there as well. Do you know, this, this is one of those things. It's like, okay, Marin, stop, stop. Just stop because you're going to ruin it and it looks beautiful. Now, I'm thinking if I want to be a little bit more realistic, if I put... Doop. Oh, I was just going to say, if I put a little bit of white on there, it's picked all the pink up, I was then going to drop some yellow in there. 
and ah, oh, I don't know, do you know what? That's not too bad. Just give it a little puffy puff. That can go out a little bit. No, I've probably ruined it now. <laughs> I've ruined it, I've ruined it. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can claw that back. Let's throw some more of the red on. Have I put, what color have I put on there? Yeah, I sort of ruined it. What a donkey. Oh, that was the um, peach red. So I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go another little bit of white. Do you know what, if you don't try these things, you just never know, do you? And then, look at, look at that, oh. Okay, I feel like I've completely ruined that because I'm such a donkey. It was looking gorgeous. It now looks like it's been a little bit mullered, but I can probably hide that with a sentiment. So let's just leave it at that a minute. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll probably do different colors and I'm gonna do it on my vellum. I am really loving working on vellum. Do I need the white? Probably not, but I'm gonna see if it sort of tones it down, if that makes sense. So let's just spread some white there. Let's go for these two. What else have I got in here? Because there's 26 and I've only pulled out a few. It's crazy. Oh, that's a nice emerald green, lemon yellow. Oh, azure blue. Oh, I wonder what azure blue is like. There's a lilac, oh, black. There's so many colours. A yellow, green, a purplish red. I'm not going to bore you. Oh, I can't even read that one. Seigil? Say, oh, I don't know. Seigil. <laughs> and that's with my glasses on. And they're hanging off the end of my nose. Dark magenta. Do you know what? I'm just gonna take this one out. So one thing to know, if you do get these, you give them a good shake before you use them. They also come with a couple of little piercers because you do this, nothing comes out. So you, which is great for in transit and that. So you need to just give them a little pierce. I'm just going to put a thing. That's it. That's it. That's pierced now. So now that's open. So let's try this colour. Doop. Oh, what about also if we use a little bit of blending? Or shall I do all the colours first and then a little bit of blending? Just to get that wispy look. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I love that. So now I'm going to go this side. I've got to use the cerulean and I would be rude not to. Probably put far too much on now.
This don't even look like a flower now. <laughs> I've lost all my shape. <laughs> but I'm loving the, the background that it's giving. Look at it. Isn't it lovely? And I just feel like I need a little bit there. Let's just put that in. Oh, oh. Oh God, <laughs> I just splat. Oh, I should have done it in my box. Oh, what's the matter with me? Honestly. But look at that. These I'm just going to do with... <laughs> I have to do the same colours now because I've got it everywhere. Isn't that beautiful? Absolute. Do you know what? It, it don't need... Marion, just walk away because that doesn't need anything else. I feel like I really ruined this and I feel like I need to do it again, but I need to grab a bit more black. Hang on a minute. just think i don't know if it's just me but i think that as is just looks beautiful i'm now wondering <laughs> sorry my mind's going off somewhere i'm just letting that dry a bit i'm now wondering what it would look like on craft card i'm gonna have a look if i've got any i might not okay i found some craft card it's my lucky day or is it i'm just gonna set that aside a minute and do the same thing with the white now, craft is incredibly porous. I mean, all cardstock is porous unless it's coated. Um, that, I don't think, is as porous. This is. So, let's just see what happens. Yeah, look, it's just going straight in. But, I'm wondering if that's still going to give me a base. Look, I can hardly get it to spread out. Oh, blimey. As you build on it, you keep it starting to get whiter and whiter, but you don't have, have to work quick. So this, I just wanted to do this in case people were thinking, oh, I wonder what it'd be like on craft. Well, this is what it's like on craft. Hmm. There's still something about it. I, I don't know. This this white is just beautiful. Now I've used the um the Ranger white and I've used the uh what's it called? Blah, 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 blah. I can't think. I'll think of it. Um but it's really it's really quite thick. So that might work better. See even that is just if I just keep, oh, don't block up your roll. See, I like that as well. If I put that there, I am just, I want to use the tiniest bit of pink. You know, it's just going to be a big blob in it. Just touch it. Oh, yeah, no, I need, I need to spread it. This is that magenta. So, whoa, I am so heavy handed, honestly, I'm my own worst enemy. Oh, 
Oh dear, here I go. <laughs> oh, Marion. Now, if I put a little bit of white over that. Yep. Come off gently, you. Yeah, no, that, do you know what? That's the bit I don't like. I should have remembered that from last time. Oh, I don't know. I want to see if this is going to dry. It's alcohol, it should. I wonder. So, look at that. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? And you can go in, you can go in with a quickie glue pen. I'm going to actually. Let me just move all these out of the way. I'm going to get all these out of the way. I'm going to grab myself some um, silver foil, some of my Wow Fab foil. And I'm just going to, the quicker I go, the thinner the lines I'll get. Okay, so I, d I went quite quick just to get some really fine lines. If I went slower, they'd have come out thicker. And I'm just going to let that go tacky. It, with these quickie glue pens, the type of glue that it is, it's called a two-way glue. If you, um, if you put it on, join your paper together, that's it, stuck. If you put it on, let it go tacky, so let it go clear, then... That's going to... Oh, I don't want to do this. Mm, I don't want to ruin it. Oh, do you know what I could do? I could just do... Just do some dots. These are just going to be very little dots. I've just done something else with dots. Oh, do you know what? And the Barely Arts glue works lovely with the Wow Fab Foil. So let's just do dot, 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 dot. Right. I might as well do some on here as well. Okay, let me grab some fab foil. I went ahead and got some foil. I want that to go clear and then I know that it's tacky rather than, um, what you call it? Let me just put my lid back on. So you can always just put it on. Give it a rub. If it's not ready, you can just put it back on again afterwards. You might put a little bit of the alcohol ink off. No, that's not real. Oh, it's getting there, look. So it's picking up little tiny bits. just looks beautiful. I don't even know if I put any up here, actually. can't remember. I don't think I did. Right, what's this looking like? Mm, might not be ready yet. We'll see. Nah, not quite ready. See, it looks like it's ready and then you do it and it's like, no. No, look, I've just pulled it all off. <laughs> oh, Marion, patience is a virtual. Virtual? <laughs> Virtue, honestly. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. Let's just carry on. I'll get little bits on there. Do you know what? If I just do all over, if it picks it up in little places, like there, that's quite nice. 
And if it's where I don't want it, I can just rub it off with my fingernail. Actually, I think I prefer this. Let just get rid of those bits. Because that's not really adhering to anything. This is just where there's bits of the glue on here. And that's nice. Yeah, it's still not done. <laughs> I've probably taken it all off now. You can feel, look, I'm just pulling. Oh dear. Oh, actually, that's quite nice. Just give it like a rough look. That's not quite disappeared. I thought it would be an alcohol, but it's... And look, it comes through on the other side. So be aware of that. So you just want to do it as a panel. I might just chop it right down. I don't know. I think I can get away with that as a flower. That, I just, I just love that. And this is just beautiful. So, thank you. I'm sure there was something else I was going to do, but I can't think off the top of my head now. Um, because, yeah, look, it's 10 to 3. I haven't eaten. I'm going to fade away. Um, <laughs> it might take a while for me to fade away. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I just, I love them. Thank you. Thank you, Let's Resin. Um, and thank you, you guys, for watching. Um, and I'll see you another time. Thanks ever so much. Bye.